So what we're filming here is the output from a turbo blaster that is 20 feet below us down there, okay? And what we did, we filled that drum with water from the stream, fill it up, and it comes up to here. We're in any, we have two air pumps. The one on the left there, 60 water, both of them 60 water. One is pressurizing the drum, and the one on the right is doing the turbo blaster. The turbo blaster, you can see it going into the side of the pipe there. If you got good sharp eyes, you see a gray hose going into it there. And what that does, is the compression pushes the water up about five or ten feet up this one inch pipe and then the turbo blaster grabs it and takes her all the way so we're filling up to here and we filled it up we tested it early it was about a minute and we'll see how we're doing on this one now yeah. yep yeah about a minute four to so your five gallons okay so I'll call it a minute even you know, and uh, what that gives you, five gallons in a minute, is five times 60, 300 gallons an hour, a continuous flow. How's that, folks? Yay, Natalie. You turn it off, let the air go out, and now shut her down. So 100% air driven. There's absolutely no moving parts in this at all. Nada. Zippo. And we fill up the drum with that two inch white pipe you see there in the distance there. That it goes up the stream about 100 feet. The water comes down, comes into the bottom of that drum with a check valve. And if we release the air pressure like you heard Natalie do there, and we would do that with an electric solenoid there instead of bending over and doing it. The electric solenoid would time out the limit switch and then it would let that drum fill back up and pump us back up again. So it's a way to get water. It's about 20, 24 feet down to that thing, to the ground. And uh, the drum is three foot tall, so you take away that. So you're coming up about another 10 feet, 20 feet coming up to here. So 20 foot ahead with two 60 watt air pumps. Uh, that's about as sweet as we can get it. Yay. Roger.